Okay, here we go on testing Matt's pedal drive. This is at 10 times speed. There goes Matt, leading sale sandpoint, hitting about 10 kph. And slows down a little bit on this turn. Down to like 9. He ramps it back up to 10. It's a good bit of wind this day, so downwind, he's going 12. Maybe 12 and a half, 0.25. And he goes in and stops and gets Thomas to have a chance on his birthday. He goes Thomas. He goes out on the loop. He hits about eight. Pretty steady for a while. And slows down. It was getting increasingly wavy, I think, as the day went on. Makes a turn. Still hitting seven or six. Starts coming back towards the dock. Downwind at seven, seven and a half, pushes it up to eight, drops back down, comes in to take a break. And I think he went out for another little, little jaunt. Kind of takes off here pretty quick, jumps up to nine and a half, eleven, slows down, makes a turn. And then on the way back to the dock, I think that's when he flipped it accidentally and then swam it back. So I could have taken a chance. Scott gets on over here, goes out for a little loop around the uh, log boom, starts off slow, ramps it up four, getting faster, making the turn at five. It's outside the log now, going seven, cranks it up steady. Ultimately hits about 10 very briefly and then slows down for the turn. And downwind ramps it back up, almost hits the dock. This is when Matt gets a little movie of me. And uh, finish it off with a little backpedaling in the inner bay of Sail Sandpoint and going back to the dock. Looking at averages here, it's Matt is doing about almost 10 in the first section, 11.9 or so in the second section, and overall is at about 10.3. Thomas's average the continuous part was about 7.4. We went out and cranked it. He hit about 8.3. Average for me at the beginning was about 7. And in the rest of it, yeah, about 7. Alright. That's a wrap.